Welcome to the Sunday live session. My name is Moidin Afsan and uh, these are my credentials. I scored 99.31 percentile in ZAT and I scored uh, 99 plus in my quantitative ability and 99.4 plus in LRDI section. So here I'll be sharing my QA as well as LRDI section test taking strategy. So yeah, first things first. So coming to your subject matter knowledge and strategy. So your subject matter knowledge forms 70% of the whole pie and the strategy forms 30%. So consider a situation where your strategy is totally out of place. So you'll end up scoring only 70% even if your subject matter knowledge is really good. So that is why I say having both of them is very important. Your subject knowledge matter, your, your subject matter knowledge must be totally up to mark as well as your strategy must be really good. So I'll be touching upon the strategy part here. So first LRDI section. So your LRDI section has eight sets. So what I did was that in the first five minutes out of the total 60 minutes for this section, I scanned through all the eight sets and identified the five easiest ones. According to me, the five easiest one I uh, identified. So for me, the LR section was LR uh, uh, sets were basically easier when compared to the DI section. That is because DI section involves a lot of calculation and even if one of those steps goes wrong, you'll end up losing the entire set. So you would have to solve it again and a lot of time would be consumed there. So my preference was to solve LR sets first and then go on with your DI sets if time permits. So in the first five minutes, I quickly scanned through all the eight questions, identified the five easiest questions. So the remaining time is 55 minutes. So if you divide 55 by 12, so sorry, if you divide 55 by the by five, that is the total number of sets that you have. So you'll get around 11. So around 11, 10 to 12 minutes. That means around 11 minutes is the ideal time in which you will be able to solve. You should be able to solve a particular set. So in that time period, you should be able to solve uh, as many that is within 11 minutes. You must be able to solve all the four questions in that set. So that is an ideal situation that may not happen every time. So what I did during the test was that I identified five sets and I was able to solve four to four and a half sets. That is 16 to 18 questions must be correct. So that is what actually happened with me as well. I was able to score 56 in this section. So around 18 uh, questions were correct out of the five sets that I solved. But this may not happen every time. So there, there can be days when uh, the LRDI section is very difficult. So I remember one case uh, particularly where uh, one of the toppers uh, that is he got 99.99 percentile. So he said that he solved two questions in each of the eight sets. So he attempted all the eight sets, but he was solving only two of the easiest questions in those. So you, uh, so such days can also occur where the question paper is really difficult and you're not able to solve all the four questions in a particular set. So your strategy must be very agile and you must adapt as and when required. So that is really important here. So this is what I did for my LRDI section. So now moving to the QA section. So the QA section has 34 questions in total. So 34 questions in total. And if you see, you have 60 minutes in total. So around one to two minutes must be the average time for solving a particular question. So the strategy that I, that I adopted was a three round strategy. So the first round was of 20 to 22 minutes. So what I did in the first uh, uh, 20 to 22 minutes was that I went through all the 34 questions and identified the easiest questions. Now, what are these easiest questions? Those are the questions that uh, uh, there are such uh, when you look at them, you immediately realize what are the steps that you need to do and what is the technique required to solve this? Like you're able to solve them within a minute. Such questions are the easiest questions. So I identified those 50 easiest questions, 15 easiest questions, and I solved them within the 20 to 22 minute period. So now I start after this at the end of this 20 to 22 minutes, I went ahead with the round two. So round two was of 25 minutes where I, I uh, solved those 10 questions. So these 10 questions are the medium level questions. So coming to what these medium level questions are. So these medium level questions are those questions which you know you will be able to solve, but it requires a little bit of calculation. That is using a pen and paper, you need to do a bit of calculations. So such questions are your uh, medium level questions. So at the end of this 20 or 22 minutes plus your 25 minutes. So usually you would have spent around 45 minutes solving your easy and medium level questions. This is an ideal scenario. 
this may not hap happen during the exams in exams it might happen that uh, by the end of this first two rounds you would be out of time or you would be having just 5 minutes left so in the last few minutes what you need to do is that you have to solve the difficult level questions so that's what happens in your round 3 so in your round 3 solve the difficult level questions so this was my three round strategy so in general if you look at these uh, at this section there is qa you have 34 questions in total so you have to attempt 80% of the questions so that is you are having your 34 questions and you have to solve 80% of your questions there is 0.8 if you multiply that so you get it as 27.2 so you can assume it to be 28 questions you have to attempt 28 questions and it has to be of 85% accuracy so 28 into 0.85 if you do you get it around 23.12 so around 23 to 24 questions must be correct and 3 uh, to 4 questions can be wrong so this is your ideal uh, scenario if you want to score 99 plus so you have to get 23 to 24 questions correct and 3 to 4 can be wrong so this is your overall strategy for qa section so i hope uh, guys you you felt this entire session to be engaging as well as useful